Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So on this video, I'm gonna teach you how to create mind maps using chat GPT. And right now, as you can see right here, these are mind maps. So a bit of discussion or a bit of background. What are mind maps? Basically, if you have your thoughts rumbling and cannot be placed in a proper organization, just use the mind map and then branch it out so you can set your toes free. Now, how to create this one with using chat GPT? Let's go to ChatGPT first. Of course, once you're inside ChatGPT, you're gonna need to enable this prompt. Now, it's not exactly the same prompt you can do on yourself, but basically, the key here is gonna be this sentence. I want to have a mind map around steps. This exact phrase is gonna be the permanent or fixed topic. Now, for the subject, or for example, the subject of discussion, on my end, it will be data analyzation. You can do yourself, for example, cooking, um dieting going to the gym organizational chart etc etc the only included topic here or the fixed one is going to be this one and then i have added this sentence where it says include relevant topics tools and methodologies and of course next important thing is this markdown language because there are a lot of language for example you have html you have um ccs the one we're going to do for this video is going to be markdown now, once you enter this one on ChatGPT, take note, I am not using the paid plan. This is only the free trial inside ChatGPT. And now we're going to have this code. So you can just simply click on copy code. Make sure this is a markdown file. Once done here, we're going to need to open another website. So the next website we're going to go through is going to be Dillinger. This is the link, dillinger.io. And once you're here, simply click on new document. And once you're in the new document right there, delete everything. Name this one, let's just say, Markdown Sample. You can name it as you see fit. Of course, I'm going to paste here the code. And with this, I'm going to simply export. Of course, we're going to go with Markdown. We can go PDF, HTML, or style HTML. But again, this video is all about Markdown. It will download it in there, set it aside for now. And third one, we're going to need an application. So the application I'm we're talking about here is going to be Xmine. This is the link and this should be the landing page you should be working on your end. This is accessible for macOS, Windows, Linux, iOS, and iPad. And of course, we have Android. Now, once you click on download and install it to your computer, it will look like this. Now, once in here, you're going to have a choices. For example, for the basic, you're going to have mind map, logic chart, and brace map. So since we're talking about mind map, might as well um, click on it. And we're going to have this option. So basically, I'm going to skip with this one. If you're familiar with paint, it's familiar. It's about similar. And then once we're here, simply click on that three lines on the top section. Click on import. Give me a second here. Or file, rather. And there is import. So again, we have markdown right there. And here we have it. Let's just look for the file from earlier and wait for it to do its magic. And we have it right there. This is the mind map for steps in data analyzation. If I just want to zoom in right there so you guys can see it, we have, if I'm not mistaken, 10 um, steps right here, starting from define the problem up to feedback and iterations. Of course, don't let this stop you. You can adjust this how you see fit. You can adjust everything here. Take note about that one. You can place number one to number five, number five to number nine, etc etc now once you're satisfied with this one of course we need to export it you can simply click on export right there as a png svg jpeg and pdf however for the svg markdown word up to text bundle these are only applicable for paid subscription and then if i click on png right there i'm gonna have this one export it wait for it to be exported and there we have it. I'm going to save it on my computer right now. And here we have it. It is exported as a JPEG. I can use this one for discussion purposes now. Again, guys, that is the power of mind maps. You can use this technique in regarding with your rush presentations in the office, rush meetings, and the works. So again, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.